All right, so here's what we got going on. Got a version eight STI ECU up on the bench rig, uh, power ground, K-line. Uh, that's acting as a vehicle speed sensor at the moment. We have a cluster here that's displaying speed about 45 kilometers per hour. It's not in miles per hour, despite what the gauge says. Um, and then controller with a 12 volt to five volt step up and step down circuit. Um, and then we got oscilloscope to give us some data and diagnostics console. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is in a bunch of footnotes, turning ECU into human language. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reset this and just start up the ECU and show you the oscilloscope to show you what it kind of looks like. Restarting now, as you can see. So it's initializing, get a bunch of data back, request data to the uh, controller and it sends it back. All that happens extremely fast, um, as you can kind of see from the oscilloscope. Um, now I like to point out that uh, we can look at the cluster here. It's reading about, I don't know, 45, 46 mile, uh, kilometers per hour. Um, so if I were to query the ECU, which I have code set up to do, um, reset it and query it again, we can look at the data to come in and then I'll show you the diagnostics console in a second. All right, reset because it got messed up. Oh, it helps if the oscilloscope's plugged into a spot on the board, as it may turn out. And one more time. There you go, a bunch of data coming in. All right, so now let's look at the diagnosis console. Um, I'll save you a bunch of uh, questions and, and such, but here's the begin of the return packet from the ECU. And that's the end of the packet from the ECU. This is a bunch of stuff that makes it talk, basically. And right there's the data you're looking at. That's a that's a data piece in decimal, and that's the vehicle speed. And so it says 46. And if we look over here, what do you know? It's about 46. So let's go ahead and turn this up to, uh, let's do 100 and, 164. That's about what that's at. So again, we'll query the ECU, and again, I'll show you the diagnosis console this time. So query, initializing, bloop. All right, and so then we just have to look back here and there we go, 164, that's our vehicle speed. Uh, so I just need to add in some more code to kind of parse this uh, and I'll have stuff up and running. And that's just the easiest parameter I went for. There's plenty more parameters where that came from to start looking at. Uh.